Hey everyone. Now I've got a project coming up where I have to make a multicast TV server for a customer. Now I have a multicast TV server at home that I built myself obviously, and not for watching TV, but just for this sort of thing. So I'm gonna show you how I've got this set up and what I'll be doing today. So out in the garage at the rack here, I've got five of these DVB cards here. So one, two, three, four, five. And the antenna comes in here, goes to a powered splitter here, just to give it a bit more signal and as it splits, even though I'm not using the splitter up there. And I split that into the five adapters here. And the reason there's five is because there's five frequencies. So there's ABC, 7, 9, 10, and SBS. And they go into the back of the computer. So back here, I have two USB expansion cards so I can fit all of these USB things in here. So five of those are those TV adapters. The others are for the SDR receivers up here. You probably noticed them, that's the SDR stuff. So that uses a bunch of USB ports as well. Now what I've got here is an insanely expensive card that has eight TV tuners inside it. So what I'll be able to do is take away all those USB adapters, the splitters, the one of the USB expansion cards and just put that in there. So that's what I'm doing today. All right, here's the card, this TBS Octa tuner. So let's have the butchers, that's it. One card. Anything. Go on. Push go. All right. It has an in and an out. So I'm just going to use that one, obviously, because I'm not going to anything further. I'm going to plug this in and hopefully see that as DVB, as DVB devices. Actually, before I disconnect the old stuff, I'll just show you what I've got in the USB ports. I've got these here, the five TV adapters. And these, of course, are the RTL things that I don't use as DVB. Just these here. So, LS Dev DVB, you'll see I have the five adapters there. And that's what's running with DV Blast. So I'll shut this down and install the card. Okay, here's the server, some of you might remember it. So what I'm gonna do is just rip one of these cards out and plug it in down the end there. All right, so, I'm sure this is very exciting, but anyway, out with the old, in with the new. And you get See, screw the cane. Boom, 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 boom. All right, that's that. I better look at which one's the in one because I won't see this in the rack. Okay, the top one's the one where I plug the antenna. Okay, it's booting up, so I've just got the network cable and you know the antenna in to see how this goes before I go much further. Okay, now when I do list dev DVB, nothing comes up. So that's probably gonna be a firmware issue. Sometimes you have to put firmware files on these and this isn't exactly a common adapter. So, so what I'll do, firstly, LSPCI, see if the card's actually alive. Okay, so there it is there, card's alive at least. So what I'll do is I'll look at DMesh and see what comes up and I don't see much at all. So da -da 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 -da. usually if it won't come up, you'll get something about it's there in a cold state, but not, not a warm state. So I'll have to find firmware for this and see what I can do. All right, so I'm gonna poke around on the website and see what they've actually got here. And they want me this. All I really want is the firmware. This is what I want, firmware. So, get the firmware. Okay, what is it? Be unzip two, that thing. Whoops, no, not that, idiot. You bloody all. TBS tuner, unzip the cat. TBS, oh, there it is, okay, untar it. Uh, XFF, VF, uh, TBS, what do you want? Cool, all that firmware, that's what I wanted. You know what? And just put it right there without a subdirectory. Good one, fellas. Firmware, uh, all that shit there. What I'm gonna do is copy all of that. Firmware into lib firmware, firmware. Now there's a way to do this without restarting, but I don't know it, so I'm gonna restart. While it's rebooting, I notice it says an alternative to reboot is to do it manually. But I want to reboot it anyway to make sure it's all good. All right, and there it is. So let's have a look. Have a root, let's get into it. Dev, DVB, still nothing. Fuck you. Now normally that's all I've ever had to do when I'm installing DVB devices. Usually it picks it up without any extra firmware. Sometimes you need a firmware file. But this thing's not even seeing it in the D message thing. So I might have to look at their instructions, which I didn't want to do, but the reason I didn't is because I didn't want excessive stuff being installed, but I'll see what I might have to do. Now it's saying that the Linux TV source code doesn't contain all the stuff for this. 
So they're talking about that, which I guess contains all the other cards that I've ever used. So I'm gonna to have to do this, build this thing. All right, that's that, so let's do this. And errors. Nothing I love better than a fucking error. Okay, I think the problem is I can't compile this without these kernel headers and I need to install them. And to do that, I had to install the right sources. As in, I had to put this thing on there. So I did that and now I get that option. So now I might be able to do that. Hey, okay. Now there's some headers being installed so I should be able to compile things for this kernel, if I've understood that right. All right, make Ali, what? Ali is config and fucking errors. Right, I just had to do make download and that kind of did stuff. So that kind of did that. Now I'm gonna do make untar. See what happens, okay. I'll try it again. Ooh, it's doing more stuff than it did before. Warning. What? I didn't even get a chance to read the warning. You don't have the full kernels. Oh, da, da, da. This doesn't prevent you from that, if you have it, but full kernel may be required in order. Oh, we'll see how this goes. So make dash J4. Okay, it's doing stuff. V4L, okay, that's video for Linux. That's what would be V4L2, but anyway. V4L. I haven't had to compile this sort of thing for 15 years. It was all pretty much taken care of these days, I thought. That's why I was hoping to just plug this in and have it work. But it seems I have to compile shit. So here we go. Now I have to fess up and say that I used Gemini AI here. I bounce around sometimes between Grok, Gemini, Meta, whatever, because they have different bloody versions of things. But this, this sort of got me going. So this is what I did, and it worked. So, so that let me progress this a bit, otherwise I would have been stuck. Right, after a whole bunch of mucking around, I ended up getting it on there. So it was missing a Perl thing, which I had to install, and then it came good. So it did that, installed it, built it. Sorry, built it there, yeah, blah, blah, blah. This wasn't a problem. I did the install somewhere there, and it all kind of looked like it went in. There's V V for L2, so okay. There's stuff there now. And I'm just rebooting the server, and I'll see what happens. All right, now it's rebooted, and check this shit out. I have eight DVB adapters. <laughs> cool. So that's all good. Oh, well, should be anyway. Let's have a look. I've already got me um, streaming things here. So DVB. So if I go to, let's go here. DVB uh, blast commands. These are the commands I use. So it's just each frequency on a separate adapter, which you've got there. So if I do this now, go DVB blast commands. I should get five locks on there if I'm really lucky. And I've got a grand total of fuck all. So what I'll do, kill all DV blast, piss that off, and try a different way. So oops. So I've got the the scanning channels for you know here. That's just the frequencies that we use here. So if I do scan AU Brisbane, this should find the stations like ABC seven nine ten and that. I'm wondering if its sensitivity is really bad. Now I know I did go through that RF amp before and now I'm just trying to put it directly in. So I'll try going through that RF amp again, even though I shouldn't have to do that. So I'll plug the RF amp in. All right, I've just got the cable from the antenna going directly to that server. So that's the signal I've got here. It's not going through any splitters in the roof like it was before. And it got me an extra 10 dBm, so hopefully this works. Okay, now that I've got the antenna going there directly, I get some results, but it's still not perfect. So you can see it doesn't get, the first one's ABC, it doesn't get that, but it gets seven, nine, and 10. So here comes seven, nine's coming in, 10 will come in, but not SBS as well. So no ABC and no SBS. Okay, so if I show you the frequencies, that's them there. So that's ABC and that's SBS. Now I took a screenshot before, so I can show you that ABC is this one right at the top here, the one that's not very flat, and SBS is this one in the middle down here, which also isn't too flat. So the response to that isn't fantastic. So that might be why it's not getting those two, whereas the others are kind of flat and it gets all them. But either way, to mimic what I had before, I'm gonna put that RF amp back in line just to see what happens there. Right, so this RF amp here is what I was using, which I didn't think I'd have to use. And I don't have to use it with these. I mean, if I have five of them, I do, but they can pick up some sort of signal without it. But I'll just move the hack RF. I'll grab this, plug it in, and see if that makes a difference. All right, so now that RF amp's back in. So the antenna goes in there, goes through that RF amp, 
and into the cart. All right, now when I scan, they all come in. So you see, there we go, ABC's there. And the rest will be two, I guess. Seven, nine, and 10, and SPS should be. Seven, nine, 10, oh, if I can wait, nine, 10, all the shit that they transmit. And come on, SPS, you can do it. There we go. Okay, so they're all there. If you missed that, SPS was kind of there. All right, so I can start streaming that now with my little command, which is actually in here. DVB commands, boom. I should get five locks. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, if I open up VLC and go to my SAP announcer, because I've already got that set up, you can see that they should just come in now. So, boom, there they are. One, two, three, the rest of them, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I have an overview one that I sometimes do with VLC. That's just a um, VLM config file for VLC to make a full on mosaic. I did a video on that years ago, but VLC dash VLM conf VLM dash audio. Right, and that's struggling, but anyway. Now, da, da, da. now that overview will just have a bit of everything. And there you go. So all the TVs are working. And that's why I needed one that had five uh, tuners in at least. So that's that. All right, so after a bit of mucking around with compiling stuff, which I didn't think I'd have to, but I did, and getting Proxmox able to do that, I managed to get the thing going. Now, that wasn't as sensitive as these USB devices, but having that card, the, the main aim is to get rid of all this. So I don't have flaky USB cables, at least, or splitting the antenna a million times, even though, you know, Effectively, it's kind of the same thing. So I may look at getting a better antenna from the, you know, start at the start, get a good antenna and running a direct cable all the way down. But it does work. So that's what I'll use now instead of all these adapters. So that'll do for now. Until next time, take it easy.